Discover Tech here and welcome back to another video and today I'll show you guys how to access all ADB commands from your command prompt. Now to uh, download the SDK manager and run ADB commands there will be a link in the description below with the link to my tutorial video. So now let's go on to it. So, let me put this out of the way. So, here, you have to go to your computer, and, sorry, you have to go to control panel, and once you hit control panel, you have to hit, well, you can go to system here, just search system, or, you know, yeah, just search system. You go to, um, I think, advanced system settings, and then you'll be here. Pretty much, you'll see this, and uh, what you want to hit is environmental variables, and here is the key part. Okay, <clears throat> so what you need to do here is you need to go on here and to make a new, right, with your variable name, whatever, and then you need to put in, as you can see, as I already did it already here. You need a, you can call whatever you want, but I would call it path. I think calling a path works and you need to put in the file uh, where you put your folder in the previous video like the ADT bundles and it has to be in your plat uh, slash SDK slash platforms tools so instead of going in to your um, computer like last time and going in here and going into as I called it the development folder and uh, by the way, guys, if you saw it over here, I just messed up with the extraction, so it didn't work. So here, I ex you extracted the folder last tutorial. You're going to click here, and then you're going to go here. And then instead of going to platform tools and, you know, running. Wait, I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's lagging a little bit. Okay. Instead of, uh, you know, like right-clicking, shift right-clicking. Here, open command window. You don't have to do that. You can just um, take, you know, as you can see here, we went to this folder. If you double click here, you just copy this whole bar here. Um, that's the file okay. Let me go to the side and copy everything. So, as you can see, you just cut it. Once you cut it, you just go into here and paste it in call it path and you're good to go so that will be it for today's tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, let me just show you what it what it's like so you hit CMD and you're at the command prompt and you can hit ADB devices right away and it will show you know what you normally get so now if you hit again because it wasn't on see I'm running if you hit ADB sorry ADB it will show all the commands and everything's there so you don't have to run your commands through that trick so that will be it um, for me in this video um, if you guys want to run other commands um, in the you know any other things like other than ADB you do the same thing just use that same folder with all your downloads of what you packages and such so that will be it for me in this video i hope you guys enjoyed